I hear how the sounds of gun battle are coming from here and what I'm showing you right now is the burnt cars of Israeli citizens, families who were on this road when terrorists came in. This is this is how it unfolded. You can imagine the horror of it, what has gone on here. These are the cars of families who were just on a normal uh, drive maybe and going somewhere, but this is what has happened to them. This, this is the situation here. You can hear the gun battle going on there and strikes maybe going on there. And just behind me as well, you can see how it is there there is a bunker right here and uh, this is the way from where the terrorists came in they burnt everything they found fired indiscriminately on people here now there there's a security establishment right here I'll show you more uh, 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 things uh, cars how they have treated people right here and this this there are barricades right here which have been put by security forces so that nothing untoward happens again there's just this right behind me just a few hundred feet from here from these from this place right there a few hundred feet this uh, Hamas terrorists came in they attacked the families here on a weekend and on uh, normal families who were just going about their work They're with the families were elders, children, everyone. And this is how this attack took place. You can see how the terrain is here, so close. They came in trucks, they came in bikes, and then many, many more just rushed in on foot. Now there's a big question about how this could have happened, but at this moment, Israel is trying to handle the situation and it has it has just brought about as many soldiers here as possible and fighting on this front as well as the front in the north so these these are the uh, places which have uh, borne the brunt of the attack this attack has taken people here by surprise the security establishment by surprise but this is something which should never happen again. That is what Israelis are saying. So these pictures are something which are shocking, really shocking pictures. This is the bus stop where they attack people. You can still see how there's a shoe here strewn in. Let me show you how, how it looks, the shock of it all. Something which was not even expected ever had happened here. And this is something which should never happen anywhere. These, this is just a normal household thing. It's a bottle of a soft drink right here. And lives lost. Such senseless massacre which has taken place here the heavy security presence which you are seeing here is actually uh, because barely 2700 feet from here is the gaza strip these are the security personnel who are guarding this entire area and uh, uh, people here uh, are not to be seen they have been asked to stay at home and as i have been saying again and again this is uh, this is the area this is this is the road from which uh, we came and uh, this is how this is the first place where the Hamas terrorists barged in and they went on a rampage in this uh, small town and uh, murdered families and elderly women everyone they could lay their hands on they drove in from uh, as you can see uh, from very short distance, they drove in on bikes, on trucks, and went on a rampage in this town. As we had just shown you, uh, the police station where the terrorists were holed up for a very long time, there was a spitched gun battle that they killed at least uh, uh, 20 policemen. The gun battle went on for a very long time. 
the terrorists were eliminated but only after the police station had to be uh, demolished only then it was possible now it's a uh, uh, heavy uh, police presence security presence here as you can see that gaza strip is very close israel is facing a very difficult time and its allies have come to help but the soldiers here the people here they are standing strong for their own people for what they have faced in last few days the kind of terror which was unleashed from gaza strip on this place in sherzot kadambari sharma for ndtv